Anthony good? Yep. Good here? Here? All right, go. Good. Good. Ready, Anthony? All right, cool. All right, guys, we are here for the world title match. WCS uh, world champion Charles Juice Withers taking on Devin, who won from the north. They won uh, yesterday over the south champ to have the chance for this match. They're both about to bowl a best of seven for $1,000. Uh, Juice, I'm going to start with you. Um, you've been in this situation before. You uh, won the title here a year ago against uh, Jerry Didway. Um, had many su successful defenses since then. Um, what's it like being the champ, and how are things going to go today? Well, I mean, like I tell everybody, being the champion, I mean, it, it means a lot to the organization, to the UBA, to the franchise. Um, I've known Devin for a while. Even though we haven't bowled together, I've seen bowl at Battle Bowls and some couple of Mega Bowls events, so I know he's going to throw a lot of strikes. So, like I tell everybody that's been asking about the match, I'm just going to do my best, throw as many strikes as I can, and We'll see who comes out on top. Okay. All right. So, so Devin, um, you, you won in five yesterday. Um, different challenger today. What What's your prediction for today? My prediction today? I'm going to stay with what I always say, five. All right. Going to stay with five, all right? Well, gentlemen, best of luck to you. We're all, but you're, make your franchises proud. You make the North proud. You make the South and the entire company proud. And let's do the thing, all right? All right. Good luck, guys. We are underway here for the UBA WCS World Title Match. Defending champion Charles Juice Withers. He's got the juice. Juice is loose. The juice is loose. He's going to start us off here on the left lane, representing the Dirty South Legends. There you go. Good start there for Juice. Dirty South Legends has a ton, and I mean a ton, of very underrated UBA bowlers that are on the team. I'm very surprised why year after year they don't make that move to get themselves in the playoffs. Well, the thing is they got so many talented bowlers that, uh, you know, that, that, that find themselves on regionals. Um, you got uh, Mr. 900, you know, A.J. Rice out there. Nick Garcia. Uh, Nick Garcia. You got oh, guys, Bolton. Yeah. Least, so you got these people that bowl all this other stuff. But when it comes together, that team is phenomenal. And, and like Juice mentioned, he, he, he's kind of been like the face of it all. He's, he's been representing us very well as an organization. And uh, there, there's a lot of people supporting him, and there's a lot of people supporting Devin. So this should be a fantastic match with a lot of support on both sides. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. By the way, my name is Gordon Pepper. I got a Ray Gillespie to the left of me. I got an Anthony Nieves camera guy right in front of me. By the way, again, shout out again to my niece, Sammy Barkin. Hey, Sammy because she currently is playing for the Connecticut Wind Ensemble. As I was saying yesterday, you have wind on, you have a timpani player for the band, a timpani player for the orchestra. And it's sort of like yesterday when you had heavyweight champion from the Northeast, heavyweight champion from the Southeast going up against each other. Devin came out on top in that match. If he comes out on top on this match, he'll be the new world champion. Obviously, Withers does not want to see that happen. He wants to hold on to his belt. Yeah, absolutely. Since we uh, redesigned the, the belt and uh, the strap that comes with it, uh, Juice is the only one that's at it. So he would like to retire with that belt. He's had it for a very long time. And, and uh, based on what we saw yesterday with Devin and based on what we've been seeing from today with Charles, I expect there to be a lot of strikes. Yes. I will be shocked if there is any game that is under 230 by either bowler. I'll say that right now. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to put it out there to the universe. Yep. I don't think there'll be any game under 230. No. That's crazy talk. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, these guys are both going to strike a lot. Devin did a phenomenal job yesterday knocking off the Southeast champ, Jacob Johnson. 
I mean, Jacob Johnson's not a slouch. He may not no, have had the no, best Lord, day. No. <clears throat> but even if he had a good day, Devin just steamrolled him. Yeah. Yeah, Devin, uh, Devin's thing yesterday was he was fast with his feet early, and then once he slowed down, everything kind of came to him and started clicking. And then when, when, you're, when you're that and you're that accurate, um, you're hard to beat. Oh, yeah. In, in, so in, like in any the, situation. Sort of like the Matrix, you let the game come to you. It's like... Absolutely. Well, that looks good to me. There it is. I have never seen, and I'll throw this out there in the universe also, I have never seen a roll-off where it's tray to tray and there is a two-frame roll-off. We could see that at night. I'm putting it out there for the universe. Yeah, we could definitely, we could see a lot of things here. We could we could see multiple 300 games. We could. Uh, we could see, you know, lots of the 270 games. I know you said that you don't think any of them will go under 230. And that's very, very possible. The way these guys bowl, you're not going to see a lot of crazy uh, splits. You're not going to see a lot of, uh, you know, washouts, a lot of missed single pins. You're not going to see a lot of that stuff with these two. These, these two guys are very, very good. And the, and the other thing, first of all, you're absolutely right, but the other thing is they both adjust very, very quickly. There really is not a, ooh, 10 pin stays up there. There's not really, for them, a bad gamer. If they see something, it's a quick transition for them. Yeah. So 10 pin up there. And again, the, the game could be over right now. It could be 300, 279. Yeah, it, it really could, could be, be, but it's, it's still a little early. So I don't want to. I don't want to give Game One the juice, uh, just like that. The, I'm not giving anything to anybody. I'm yeah. just saying, yeah. bring it out to the universe. Yeah. So right now, by the way, for those of you keeping score, in terms of this, and I'll wait for he makes a ten pin. Those of you keeping score, this would be, I think, what title defense five six for Charles Withers. Uh, let's see, he defended against uh, Nick Christie. He defended against Patrick Kiefer. Keeper. I heard you said that one. I can't remember that one. And I feel like there's somebody else in there, but I think he, de he defended against Nick twice. Ah, 10 pin there, too. Actually, 10 pins. Yeah. Or maybe they just want to keep playing follow the leader and just match whatever the other person does. Yeah. The one match that he did not defend the title about, but he defeated in the number one contenders match. And when I saw that match, I went, oh, boy, Kyle Troop. Yeah, that was, that was a long time ago. Was he defeated him 4-2? And once I saw that match, I'm like, oh, he's going to win the title. You know, that, that is that is bowling royalty right there. If you get past bowling royalty in a best of seven match, that that's all I can say about that. And it's really good too, because you know, a lot of people would say with Kyle that he always bowl, he bowls like he's on, on tour and all that kind of stuff, but any chance Kyle gets, um, when he especially when he was still living in North Carolina, he would he would bowl action matches. He oh, yeah. would bowl this kind of stuff. Because he, it's kind of like his way of giving back. You know, like he, he doesn't forget where he came from. No, he does and, not. And he's and he's a phenomenal bowler. And um, I, I've I've I, had Juice bowl some uh, sports shot tournaments that I've held myself, and Juice figures it out. Like he's he's <laughs> Juice is pretty good. He's not a house shot hack by no means. Well, I've had the honor to interview Kyle Troop, and he is a gentleman off the lanes, very much so, just the same as I've had the honor to interview Juice, and Juice is also just as much a gentleman. Yes. It's one of the great things about the UBA bowlers, and that at the end of the day, we're all a family, which is really, really nice to see, and, and right now, we've got family feud going on. Yeah, absolutely. So one thing that I want to mention for anybody that happens, this happens to be your, your first time watching um, the WCS, the World Championship Series for the UBA. Uh, this is a best of seven match. Pinfall um, only matters game to game. It does not matter for the for the series. So um, Devin could win four games by one pin each game. Juice could win three games by 100 pins each game. It doesn't matter. Devin's the winner. So Correct. it's all about the games. And these guys getting off to a, a fast start and not leaving the door open for the other. When, you, when they get a chance to win a game, they need to win the game. Because they're all, like you said, they're both going to strike a lot. And I was very impressed with Devin. Watching Devin yesterday was the first time um, that I've really got to watch him. And dude is very consistent. Uh, once he slowed his feet down and slowed everything down yesterday, he did really, really good. 
Well, Devin's not only one. Devin has steamrolled people. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He is not one. Um, he has not lost. Yeah, excuse me. He has uh, not. Since he's been in the uh, WCS series. That is correct. And that ball looks good too. And it is. He made that adjustment when he left the ten pin. He changed his angle of entry. He made that adjustment. And again, this is what I'm talking about. He, uh, about both of these bowlers. And that's one of the reasons why I said we're not going to see 230. They both know how to adjust relatively quickly. Yeah, they, they could both go 279 uh, at this point, and it's possible. It's just these these guys, this isn't going to be a four-game match. I, I, I can almost oh, no. guarantee that. Oh, no. There's no chance this only goes four games. Joe Swift is not happy with that shot. And there's a, oh, maybe. Oh! Just stare at it. Let's down. go. Listen, like it don't matter who you go for. When you see a strike like that, you, you yeah. Meanwhile, Charles, Charles is gonna have to change that. They change that score. Charles. Yeah, you got it. You got oh, it. He's got it. All day, baby, all day. That was that was very nice. That wow. We're gonna see a replay here. Yeah. You know, I wish we had those like instant replays instead of the five second delay. Yeah, so that that was easily that was supposed to be a three six ten. Uh, it went it, it 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 started falling and then the ten just decided that oh, okay I'll fall too. All right, are we? Looks like over here. Are they able to change the score over there or no? Hey Devin. Oh, Devin's not paying attention. Nobody's paying attention right now. So I, I think you may have to go over there once and see if they can make the change. If not, we're gonna have to go to the front desk. Ah, there you go. All right, so the answer is front desk. Or maybe not. Anyway, right right now, this is exactly as I, I think we both expected. It tied through six. Seven frame coming up. Juice up there. That ball looks good, and it is. Very good thing. He did not like that shot on lane 51. He got away with it. I'm sorry, lane 52 got away with it. Lane 51, yep. he loved that shot. Yeah, anytime you can throw a bad shot like Juice did, you just get that crazy lucky in action and stuff. It, it's it's great to have as a bowler. When you're on the lane and it happens, um, it makes you feel good. He was able to make an adjustment off of a lucky strike and go forward with it. So it, this is great. of the things that I said, and I was joking around before with him leaving the temper and I said, uh oh, the game's over. This time around, that mistake could be fatal. Giving it a run. Ah, uh, only got two. Yeah, that that could be bye-bye Devin game one right there. 148 and seventh. Yep. And two more shots from, from Juice. He'll have a 40-pin lead plus. And again, this is how quickly this match can go. This is how quickly we have a lot of things can go. Devin right now coming up eighth frame. And, and again, obviously now he's got to go out the door. He strikes out for 238, and then he needs to hope that Juice makes one or a number of mistakes. That's what he needs to do. I'm not sure Devin is going to get that opportunity. The only hope that he has is that, obviously, this is where Charles threw the what the heck was that fray, spray and fray strike. He's going to hope that Charles does not make that adjustment because if Charles did, it's over in the eighth frame. Again, both of these bowlers are way too good to be making mistakes. And he can't afford to be making that. Now will Charles Withers make him pay? Yes, he will. Wait, there we go. Whether it's going to make him pay for that mistake over the eighth frame. Yes. Very, com and, very confident in that shot. And so, just was, like that, they were tied through six. Withers up 41 going into the ninth. Yep. And that is how dangerous both of these bowlers are. You cannot afford to do what Devin just did. Right. So we talked about Juice a little bit. Juice represented the Dirty South Legends. Um, you can see by the uh, the B on the back of his jersey, he's a Brands of Brunswick guy, and uh, he rep he represents everybody that believes in him. He represents very well. Very that way. Great shot, Juice. 
So, and just like that, game one's over. Yeah, game one's over. So now Devin's going to get to throw shots on both lanes to make any adjustments he feels he needs to do. He really only threw one bad shot. You know, the Greek church hurt him. Um, you know, so he's got to figure out, and we'll be able to tell by this shot, was it him? Was it the, you know, did he just miss? Did he throw it too fast, too slow? Um, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Yep. One yeah. mistake. Yeah. One, one mistake against either of these bowlers. One mistake, you're done. Yeah, that, last time it looked like he just pushed it down lane a little too far because, you know, he's he's got a little bit different entry angle than uh, Juice does. Well, let's see if he can, if he can double here. He'll, he'll be over 230 like you predicted. There you go. That's my prediction. Come on, Devin. Don't make me look bad. Get those two strikes. So, as you said, it wouldn't surprise me if he just tried to make a couple ball change, a couple adjustments to an area shot out there. Ah, ah boo. You're not making 230. Boo. Yeah, but, it, but, but we'll give you a pass on that one because he could have been just working on something for the next That's game. True. So, um, once I you're kind of locked out, it doesn't really. Yeah. It, once the game is over, it's over. Yeah, it is over. Um, and you could even see where Juice tries to see what else, he, what other options he's got on the lane now that he's got game one locked up. That is true. Let's see if he makes a 10, he will. And he's got to be thinking, right now, Devin's got to be thinking of himself, dang it. Made one bad shot, and that cost me the game. But but again, we're, we're talking World Championship match, and we're talking Juice. You cannot do that and get away with it against Juice. Cannot do it against Charles Weathers. That's why yeah. he's up here at the pinnacle. And we, and we put a little bit of pressure on Devin because the world title has been in the South for like six years now. Um, it's, had, it's been there for a while. Uh, yeah, it was uh, before Juice. We had Jerry Didway. Uh, then we had um, Sean, yeah, Matt Taylor once upon a time. You've had a whole, a whole bunch of people. Dick Christie's obviously Nick, Sean Wade, the He had it for, yeah. Sean Sean for, Wade had yeah, for Sean, a minute. He had it for a minute. And because uh, yeah, Juice took it from, yep. from let's see. You took the southeast from Swain. Um, but yeah, Kilo, Pittman. That's true. The, yes, the, yes, the, and yes. The, the champs in the south have been gre very champs. greedy. Yeah. yeah, very greedy, impressive champs. Hold on to that world belt. Nothing wrong with being a little greedy. No, no, not 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 in heads up competition. So now you said earlier the winner gets something in four digits. Yeah, you get $1,000. Four, four digit money. Yeah, $1,000 payday right here. Ah, uh, seven bit. Eight. Irrelevant it, to the game. Yeah, very, do, does not matter. And again, that could have been him throwing a different shot, seeing what reacts. Again, thinking in advance, I've got game one. If this transitions, let's see what I need to do. And I can do it and figure it out without worrying about anything. In this game, he had, he had something to worry about until the seventh frame. Then he didn't. At the end of game one, Juice, 268. Devin Dandridge, 217. World champ is up 1-0. Devin shall start game two. So now, as you know, Devin's the girlfriend, Segura Wheeler. And she was here earlier. Right now, she is not here. I'm wondering at this point if it's better or worse for Devin that she's not here, because he may not have wanted to have wanted her to see what he did in the seventh frame. But at the same point, maybe she's there to help him and to give him some advice. We'll see. Devin, right now, and I'm sort of surprised. He's been sitting down there. He's got his whole little Devin group down there behind him, and he hasn't moved to maybe get some advice or say something. Maybe he doesn't need the advice right now. Well, he's kind of turning back and kind of, you know, um, talking to a couple of the guys. He's just, I think he's comfortable where he's at. He's just kind of listening to just a little, the subtle feedback. Juice with the strike. I remember last yeah. game, both bowlers started with point three. Are we going to yeah. get that again this game? Probably. Very much so. Now, if you just came in and joined us, and some of us just did, right now, World Champs up one zip, going to frame two. Andrew Flower, Juice, bang, bang, yep. 
Bang, bang it is, and that's how he took game one. Bang, bang, Devin Wade made one mistake, and it was fatal. Double up. Take a break. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. So you know more about the North than I, than I do. So I'm, I'm going to talk about where, right. where Dirty South and all of them. All right. So Dirty Go South Legends, uh, Amanda Franco is the owner. They are out of the Atlanta area. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they represent the Deep South in the, here in the Southeast Conference. Um, it, it's a, a very solid team, like we talk about. A lot of good people. They haven't, like, put it all together to, like, make up to make that battle bowl run. But they're capable of any time. They're, that, they got a whole team of juices where, you know, they get the pinfall right and just get the momentum. They're going to be unstoppable. And uh, Juice is definitely one of the, 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 the leaders of that franchise. Yeah, when, sure. when DSL figures it out, we talked about it earlier, they have so many good people on this squad. When DSL figures it out, they're going to make a run. I mean, Impact two years ago made that same run. They got to Battle Bowl two years ago. And Devin's one of the reasons why they got to Battle Bowl. You know, Cur Kirby Hall and company, they are not slouches. They are a team to be reckoned with year after year after year. I believe they are in first place in the DMV Central as we speak. And my and uh, Tempen. Yep. As you, we talked about with Juice, and Juice throwing uh, Brands of Brunswick stuff, you have um, Devin throwing motive. Get motivated. So, yeah. So, he, he's uh, got motivated yesterday. He's going to just get motivated here, spare this Tempen up, and, uh, you know. He wants to get motivated, juice, not Make Juice tempest. keep striking. Yeah, make Juice keep striking. Well, you have to. And the one thing you don't want to do, and you know this, the last thing you want to do is to get Charles Withers comfortable. So if you only leave a 10 pin, that's one thing. If you leave during church and all of a sudden give them a lot of room to play with, that's something else. Can't can't do that. So Charles Withers right now, as we just said, a little bit of uh, skyline for Charles Withers at this point. Door slightly open. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Yeah. And, and juice the, the intelligence of that man when it comes to everything from... His the, his ball reaction, what he needs to throw, all that kind of stuff. He knows that basically he's up 21 pins right now. Yes. You know, so it don't show that on the scoreboard yet. It shows that you know he's up one, but he knows in his mind he's up 21 pins right now. So he knows that in the moment he can make slight adjustments just to see if he needs to do anything different. This guy stays ahead of his ball motion. He stay if anything is moving. He does a great job. So. Don't be surprised if he doesn't sh just strike out and still make little small adjustments as he goes because he's great at reading lanes and great at reading transition. Very smart guy. I think they're both at that level looking for four in a row. Maybe no. Yeah, see, that was a little different there. Because now that you just said that. Yeah, but it, like that <laughs> time, that's the most that he's like lofted the ball. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know if that was necessary. Um, but I'm nowhere near as good of a bowler as Juice is. Well, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to what you said. He said, okay, I'm up 21. Let's see if I could do something I could afford to leave a corner pin. So I, I think you called it. I think he did exactly what you said he was going to do, and it's fair made. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's, it's a situation where, you know, being up one nothing, there's no pressure on Juice. No. The pressure is on Devin. So yep. we're tied right now. You and know. the pressure is still on Devin a little bit because, yeah, he threw a spare, yeah. but, but Devin, in order to catch back up, has got to throw a strike and keep striking in order to get at that same piece that Devin is. Right. So but if he leaves a 10-pin, advantage is still Charles Wilders. Yeah, what I'm saying is, is like it, it's it, when they're tied, the advantage is juice. Yes. You know, Devin has to be in the lead to have the advantage. Oh. Yeah. Tied or better? Tied or better, advantage goes with the champ. Yes. I agree with you completely on that. That was a little bit of a sloppy mess. Gets away with it. This does not leave a Greek church. Technically, we are tied. Realistically, we will be tied if Devin throws a strike here in the fifth. And then again, motion back over to Juice. Juice has got to start throwing daggers again. We said this is going to be pretty fast-paced. I don't think we're disappointed so far. No, uh -huh. but they both get, they both get up. They're both ready to go. And then when you add in the fact that they're striking a ton. Oh, I, I see a mommy dandridge over here. That's Kim. I chatted with her earlier. Oh, boy. That's not what mommy wanted to see. Yeah. 
four nine right there. That's that's a little rough. And I'm hoping okay, for Devin. Kim, don't look. I'm hoping for Devin's sake. The Greek Church cost him the first game. I'm hoping this four nine doesn't automatically cost him game two. Well, it's, the biggest problem is it's not just a four nine. It's a four nine with a strike and a spare. So now it's 20-20 across instead of maybe doubling up and getting back in. Yeah. So now a huge opportunity for Juice to get back, for Juice to really make some sun here, even if Dandridge makes a spare, which he doesn't. But it's 97 in the fifth, and we're looking now at a potential at least 30-pin lead from Charles Withers. And even more than that if he throws a couple of strikes together. Yeah, and, and Juice knows that you know, basically he's in a spot now where he just needs to close frames. Like, yeah. you don't even need to, like, press. Nope. Um, but let's see. Uh, he's Ooh, oh, he's Oh, he gets go. it. And if you're Devin, the last thing you need is to see the world champion get some party favors from the pins. Yeah. And the pins are saying, let's have a party. I'll do you a favor. Yeah, the apes. Yeah, every, everything. You're gonna get that sort of carry. Yipes! Everything is falling, uh, falling in the favor of Juice right now. It's a little bit of a champion's advantage with the pins right now. Oh, champion's advantage with the pins. Get the carry. Get everything now. What adjustment does he make over here? Because this is where he left the ten pin last time. This is the first time that he's up. Look at the double. Really put some check pressure yeah. on Devin. And he does. He, he didn't loft that like he did last time. No, he did not. Yeah, he. I'm not sure if he did. He lofted it on purpose last time, or you know something else was into that. But yeah, he did not loft it as much that time on the left lane as he did when he uh, left the ten pin. Juice up 30 plus and threatening to add to that. Needless to say, Devin's got to keep. Devin's got to start striking. He's got to keep striking on 52, and he's got to start on 51. 52, he's go. got it yeah. now. What does he do on lane 51? This game may be out of reach anyway. It's 7th frame of game 2. If he does not throw a strike here, this game will be out of reach. And we're talking 7th frame. Yeah, and it's kind of one of those things where, ideally, uh, Devin needs this game to... He needs it to be over quick for him. Because, you know, we've got all these South Bowlers and UBA Bowlers in the building that are a game away from finishing the event. And when that happens, you're gonna quad, you're, you're, you're gonna have 10, 15, 20 times the amount of support behind Juice that he already has back here. Well, clearly right now, there's no way he's gonna get this done in four. He can't mathematically get it done in four. Right. And he also can't mathematically, if things go the way that they're going, and if Juice does not make the same mistake that he did, it will not be over in five. And all of a sudden, now you're seeing games being done, and you're right. South is going to start wafting over here. Yep. Yeah, because they, uh, yeah, they're only bowling three games, I believe, for the event, and they are actually finishing that. I, I thought they had another one to go. They do so, not. So yeah, because they got a step ladder final. Hey! Oh. Mixer, we got yeah. a party mix. Yeah, that, that was a little, uh, little light there. Um, he knew it. He'll make the right adjustment on that. Um, you get. Juice, has, he always has his facial uh, expressions uh, pretty prevalent when he turns around on how he felt. And he's already, as soon as the ball gets down there, he already knows what it's going to do. Even if it happens to strike, like he had that lucky strike last game, like he already knows his adjustments. And a lot of these guys do. At this heavyweight class, these guys know how to bowl. You know, even when they have a bad game, it's better than most people's good game. Right now, he may be considering 270 on a bad game at this point. The way that his mind is there, a temper goes down. And again, if you're getting the carry like that and you're already up, it's really going to be hard to derail you. Yeah. Needless to say, though I'm going to say it anyway, Devin's got to get the next two. Just have a shot at this. And he needs a mistake from Withers, and he's running out of frames for that mistake to happen. Here, eight frames, got to have a strike. Yeah, so you look at that no confident, very confident shot there from Devin. Turned around, just kind of, okay, like, you know, even if he loses this game, which is it, it, about 99% sure that's what's going to happen, he's ready for game three. He's feeling good. Well, here's how much of a razor-thin edge this has been. Game one, tied, he throws a green church, he loses. Game two, potential tie, leaves a 4-9. 
and that mistake's pretty much going to cost him unless Charles returns a favor. But there's only two frames left for Mr. Withers to be that magnanimous. Yeah. Devin coming out again. Must have strike. And does not. Uh, the game's over. Ten. Right, right, yeah, that's that's not good for Devin. So again, and and again, you can't blame Devin on this. Devin's throwing the rock well. Yeah. He's got one, two bad breaks so far. It's cost him two games. Yes. He'll make the ten. Yeah, the the, the Greek Church and the four nine. Like yeah. that's. He he would much rather have them all in the same game, but because right yeah. now it's been one frame. He never just tough. turned back to his group and he just shrugged his shoulders. I mean, what the heck are you gonna do? That yeah. was a good shot. Maybe a little bit too fast, but that's a good shot. Meanwhile, Charles is looking to clean this one out. And there's a strike. Very, very Five nice. in a row. Yep. Charles Withers can go out the door for 279 again. Didn't yep. do it Didn't do it the last game. However, he may do it this game. Yeah, he was able to. Uh, he threw that a lot different than he did last time. So last time he came in too light, that was about as perfect a shot as you could have. You know, the one thing that, with the exception of one match, that these games have ha had in common is that they've been over quickly. We've had a bunch of 4-0s, including, well, Devin went 4-1, here's a week, went 4-0. The, both, ta both tag teams went 4-0. Yeah, it, it's funny, the, uh, only the Only the Welter and the Vixens went seven. Yeah, Welterweight and Vixens went seven, um, which is, uh, which was a bit of a surprise, honestly. Now, if this goes 4-0, and it's funny because I wouldn't think it would, but if this does, I'll go start looking up escape rooms again. Maybe one that we can go to before escape rooms close. Charles right now is just icing on the cake at this point. Yeah. It's got to be somewhere in the 270s. Yeah. One more strike, 279. Yeah, I'll, I'll be definitely looking forward, forward to a car bar after, uh, after this game, that's for sure. Car bar and attached to an escape room. Definitely got to get the car bar in there. Okay, got to get a car long bar. Day. Okay, gotcha. Last shot coming up. It's for 279. No. Ah, yeah, four six. You saw the reaction. He's just like, uh, hell with it. I get it. Well, yeah, that, yeah. that was clearly an area shot check. And I'm sure Devin's thinking, where yeah. was that, oh, three frames ago? Right. Why ain't he shot at this? Well, Oh well, 277, that's what you're getting. So even being up 2-0, uh, one of our previously longest reigning uncapped uh, tag champs, Jack Ness, is over there just talking to Juice a little bit, just kind of, you know, hey, what you see and where's it going, how's it playing? You know, because there's not too much they can compare because uh, Jack is probably one of the, the best lefties that uh, we have in the in the southeast. And um, But just having that person that can come and just kind of talk to you a minute and just see where you're going, even when you're up 2-0, like, it's a big help. So, um, What exactly yeah. are you going to say? He just shot at 277. Yeah, but, but sometimes it's like when you're, when, you're, when you're a bowler like Juice, or any of these like these heavyweights, like it's good to have that person. I, I, I saw Josh Pittman when he was the champ. You know, he would have a person or two there that he would just right kind too. of have a conversation with, real quick. And Josh would be up 2-0 himself. But it was just kind of making sure what what I'm seeing is what you're seeing, and what are you seeing, so I can make sure I'm I'm seeing the same way because you well, what, what I'm seeing right now is two nothing juice at the end of game two. Charles Withers 277. Devin Adridge, 215, the world champ up to Zep. And see right now, one of the uh, the, the, the gentlemen uh, here supporting Devin is kind of talk to him a little bit, letting him know just, you know, hey, what he needs to do different, what he's seeing. And... Ooh, that five, that five. Well, the gentleman that was yeah. there was Dan Farrar. Okay. Who swept Leonard Freeman early on today for Zeb. Yep. Northeast Cruiserweight champion. So if there's anything that he can do, he can give him some, some help just because he had that look. Yeah. His, and all four games he had that my, look. His look today, like, I know that we're talking about heavyweights right now, but at any bowling level, 
Like when you go 40 frames, you're clean, and you either struck or got a nine count. Ah, uh, come on, Devin. You either got a strike or a nine count the first ball every time. That is phenomenal. And he, he, we, they got the broom out, swept Leonard. Um, for the south, though, Hitman returned to favor, got the broom back out. But, you know. Is it too Devin early for me to say let's go to game four? Oh, almost made a spare. Is it almost too early for me to say let's go to game four? Though I will say, if you're going to open, do it now. Yeah, sooner, earlier the better. As V goes out the door, it's still 279. But yeah, Devin was on cruise control until he hit the Green Church, and then at that point, it's been all downhill for him. Yeah, I agree. That was a ball change. I agree with you on that in that last shot from Charles Withers. So, and clearly, that was a ball change because he didn't do that. I, Devin needs some sort of something change because he is clearly lost at this point. Lost in translation, lost in confusion, lost and bewildered, but lost. Yeah, lost in Mechanicsville. Lost in Mechanicsville. Lakeless in Seattle I, and lost in Mechanicsville. When I grow up, I want to be like Juice. I want to be able to... Um, oh, you can't be doing that. Yeah, that's not really good there. All right, time to go to game four. Yeah. It might, it might be time to go to game four. Um, I don't know. Yeah, what do you say? The game's over, and you're just sitting there like... Yeah. Usually, you wouldn't say the game's over, but Juice has just been a man possessed at this yeah. point. Yeah, I mean, through, through 21 frames, Juice is throwing the ball fantastic, except for one, and he's still struck. Speaking of which... Right now, Juice could have a 42-pin lead in the third frame. Yeah, and you're not supposed to do that. You're not. It, it, no, you, you should never have that. You know. Um, I mean, an open is one thing, but you, you can't. You can't miss a corner pin. No, you can't. You, you got to make your spares. I mean, obviously, Devin's going out and getting stuff. But now, the best, the best that that Devin can do at this point is to do 58. And Charles has cleared that point both games. Yeah. Like if he shot under 258, that's well under his average of what he's doing so far. Yeah. And he shows no sign of going under 258. No, not not a bit. You know, and um, you know we, we talk about a lot of times when a, when somebody's behind, they have to worry about ball changes and all that stuff. Juice's ball change there in the end was to see what options he had out there, and so he realized he didn't have what that what he had. So he that ball went back up. He's back to where he was, and it just is it, again. It's just me saying where the guys at this level are such good bowlers that even when they're up and they have the game locked, they know they can start moving around, they can start um, playing in different zones, different balls, you know, different surfaces. You know, that's one of the things that you can do in WCS. You can change your surface yep. if you would like to. You can. Uh, yeah, they can both ball left-handed if they wanted to. Um, they could. I don't recommend it right now. Would, Carl, well, but Devin might want to. Devin but, may want to at this but, point, um, yes. Juice doesn't. Juice is fine bowling right-handed right now. Right now, Tim is saying there's always room for a comeback. Yeah, yes. but Ooh. in a big butt here, you cannot be doing that. All right, let's go to game four. Let's just fast forward this part. I'm yeah. wondering if there's any way that Anthony can just set, set the tape on fast forward and just go, wee, 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 and then just get to game four. No, it, 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 it don't work that way. I want to I wanna see I want to see the Devin we saw yesterday. I do, um, I do. Because he, he was he was fantastic. You're right. I do want to see that right now. We're not getting that. Yeah. We're we're getting the the Devin that may have needed some extra sleep. Meanwhile, Charles for four. That's four. Forget. Double. Charles is looking to almost triple Devin's score right now in the fourth frame. Yeah. And, and it would shock me for me to say something like that at this point. Yeah. And Segura, if you're watching this, you may want to stay over there. Maybe find some place to sleep over. At Bolero West End. Because Bolero Mechanicsville is not uh, not in Devin's favor right now. But I'm going to say this, though. As great of a bowler as Juice is, Devin's a very good bowler, and Devin's capable. He's never lost a WCS match. 
since Devin he's been in this series. Devin is more than capable of giving this a run. Right. The problem is, it doesn't matter what Juice is doing. You have to do better than 46 in the fourth frame. Well, yeah, I, I, I agree with you on that, you know. Um, I want this to be more competitive than it is, and Devin's capable of it. He just got to find it. He does. You know. And he's running out of frames to, to find it in this game to get him ready for the next one. Oh, there's Segura. He'll be all right. This match isn't over. See? Segura, well, I agree, that, that I agree is with true. you. It, it's not over yet. It is not. However, he will have to do something that he has yet to do in this WCS, and that is come back from being down 3-7. Yes. He'll make the spare. And again, yeah. if I'm Devin right now, I need to figure something out. I need to adjust. It's going to be real hard for him to be winning game three. Now he's got to figure out what he's doing. Meanwhile, we, we've got um, some C-Swag saying, is that is that all we got from the North? Yeah. He, he didn't monitor the first two games, but he's monitoring this one. Yep. That would be Brad Kurth, by the way. I didn't mention a name. I'll mention a name to that. Yeah. But again, if I'm Brad Kurth, that's probably not what I want to do right now. I do not wish to piss off Devin Dandridge. Because then Devin, Devin all of a sudden may turn around and do that. Yeah. The only problem right now with Devin is that the best that he can do is 216. Yeah. And Chuck's got five strikes in five frames. Six frame coming up for Withers. That looked, that looked a little high, though. I, I, hope, I, hope, I think you realized that, too. It was just a little high. The, the, the viewpoint we got, we kind of see right into the pocket from here. Yeah. And it, it, it was just a little high. Not as flush as some of the previous ones he's had on that lane in this game. Right now, six frame, and, and this game has been all juice. Again, the first two games were sort of close. Devin made a mistake away. And Juice capitalized this game. Uh, another one. This yeah. game, Devin made a mistake early. And remember what I said, that game could be very well over in the first frame. The game was over in the first frame, apparently. Yeah. And definitely the second game. If it wasn't over in the first, it was over in the second. So again, you're Devin right now going in the seventh frame. You've got to figure out something. Yeah, it's, um, he's at a max, what, 216? Yeah, And that's Juice max. already has 180 plus the next ball. Well, and when, so that's yeah. It. So and, it, it, and and meanwhile, we got a nine pin up there. Yeah. And Brad, Brad Kurth over there is giving him the business. Devin will make this fair. He will. Yeah. yeah, Devin. Congratulations on winning your match yesterday. Your reward is that you're being heckled by Brad Kurth. Yeah, if, if Brad is That's like, not exactly the award that I that I would be wanting at this point for winning the North versus South match the night before. Yeah, if, if Brad Brad's a little scary. Brad's scary. he was he was next to me bowling yesterday. We were at Valero West End bowling, and um, I, I kind of felt like I got up on the approach a little too quicker than he wanted me to, and so I kind of backed off. And he he told me I could go ahead and bowl, but I, I you know he, he can be a little intimidating with uh, himself because. He's, he's not as scared to bet money on anything, and he's not he's as scared not to show to his support either. He's not afraid to show support. He's not afraid to do a lot with anything. Everybody's wondering where the North Champ is. I'm sure Devin may be wondering where the North Champ is because this is definitely not Devin. No, nah, he, de he just not. He just don't have it today. I mean, I, I just hate, I hate that. But, um, he just don't have it today, you know? All right, here's number eight for Juice. Point seven. Oh, Point eight. The pin action there. That looked a little light, but it, it broke in there late. Did his work. Hey, my give him a chance. We got something for Ryan Ross. Juice is going to have the game shut out in the seventh frame. Uh, yes, and the answer is yes, he is. There's nine. Oh, yes. Ooh, Almost man. did the same thing. And Charles is just like, calm down, everybody. Calm yeah, down. Yeah. 
Uh, right now, in the seventh frame, he had, actually the sixth frame, he has almost doubled his score. And it went to spare. Yeah, he might he might have been testing the waters to make sure he's good for game four, but yeah, I was gonna say he really doesn't care about the three hundred nearly as much, even though this is this is actually sanctioned. So if there is a three hundred that has been shot, it will count and it will go into USB C. That hasn't happened yet. There is a strike from Devin. Yeah, that was a strike of frustration right there. That was like I can't believe I'm bowling this bad. Let me just, you know. It's kind of like on league night when you're ready just to go, so you kind of somehow manage to strike to speed up the process. That's what that looked like right there. Well, you know, you and I before were chatting earlier on this weekend about fastest match. And fastest match in terms of WCS uh, was around 50 minutes, and I say that because we're at the 35-minute mark in this game. Yeah. It, it's definitely moving pretty quick. So ev everything is moving very, very quickly. Yeah. That is the good news or the bad news, depending on which competitor you're looking at right now. And again, one, one more Charles Withers win after this game, and I'll go look up an escape room. Get there. There you Does. go. Good shot, Devin. Well, Devin's, Devin's looking at something right now. He's got something. The question is... What? Right. How well will it carry over? Because this could be one of those classic matchups, one of the best walkdowns of the year, one of the best walkdowns ever. If, if Juice goes down three nothing and gets walked down, he'll probably retire from bowling. I, I don't ever. I, I can't picture Juice losing four in a row. Um, Juice knows that he's got the entire southeast and some of the people in the north pulling for him. Uh, everybody knows who Juice is. So well, Devin's De De going to finish with 184, and again, as how good Devin looked yesterday, and he didn't look bad today. First two games again, just one bad frame, one bad frame, and this game three is is basically what happens when you don't come to play. Yeah. Because he did not come to play game three and just made him pay for it. And the irony of ironies is this game was over in the first frame. Yeah, you, you were right. You go out for 279. I just. Like I find it hard to believe. I find it hard to believe. I find it hard to believe that um, a match would be over, a, a game would be over that quick. Um, Juice is just. Right, but that's yeah. how line in is. I mean, easy. He's he's got. And by the way, since I did say this was USBC sanctioned, look at what he's got in the first three games. Yeah, 814. That's pretty good. 814 to 824. That's a, that's a, that is an 800 series right there. He's got more of them. Like, um, oh, I'm sure he probably doesn't care at this point. But yeah, he, he doesn't care. There's, Juice has had so many of those. Like when he does his little fig jam post, his aren't really like some of the other fig jam posts. His are more like you know, hey, I bowled good today. He put a little parentheses. You know, you know, 300 number 284. You know. Uh, you know, 800, number 112, like, you know, he, he don't look at the same way. Yeah, and, and he won by 95 pins. At the end of game three, Juice, 279, Devin, 184. Your world champ is up three zip. There's four games that are left in this game of seven. De Devin needs all of them. Margin of error is zero, a.k.a. El Chipo. Juice is already looks like he's being anointed that he already won the whole thing. Here comes Devin. So this is uh, Devin's, Devin's got the lead for this game. Well, at, well, <laughs> technically, it, it's, it's he sort of kind of has the lead this game. I mean, look, I'm, I'm trying to help the man out here. Uh, You're trying to help Secure and Kim, I get it. Yeah. So it's the battle of the running backs, Juice, Juice versus Zeke, ha <laughs> ha. That is from Robert Hamilton. Juice right now looking for a first strike. There it is. And we're tied. Yeah. And as you said, now all of a sudden the whole Southeast is excited that, he, that they want to come hang out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So not only does Devin need to deal with the ladies, he's got to deal with the audience. Yeah. 
Yeah, because his his crowd of like five. Uh, you, you, you have, about we to get, is about to get dwarfed by a crowd that's around ten times that amount. Right. Juice right now. He's got the first one. Look at the double. There's a shot. That looks good. And he got it. Yeah. Yeah. Charles Withers doing what Charles Withers likes to do, yeah. which is those strikes, and more importantly, smell blood in the water. And, and this, no, absolutely no doubt about this. The next two strikes that Devin's got to throw, the next two balls that Devin's got to throw has got to be strikes. And the next two strikes that he has to bowl has got to be the second, third frame. Second frame coming up. There's one. Okay, okay. Because Juice right now is locked. The only way you're going to get a game out of Juice right now is to keep throwing strikes and hope somewhere on the somewhere on the way that Juice either makes a mistake or the lanes break down to the point that Juice has got to figure out a transition. Well, unless somebody uh, spikes Juice's drink in the wrong direction and, and puts a, a, a kind of juice in there he doesn't like. Uh, Gummy juice. I, I, yeah, I don't see it. I don't see that happening. Well, just saying that's what's going to happen. Again, third frame. Pretty much has got to have this one also, and he oh, does. Yeah. Oh, okay. Step right goes down. So, like, like I tried to say, it's not over yet. It's not over till it's over. Right, the right. match is definitely not over. Yeah. The, the, the third game was over very early. That doesn't mean third the match game, is third over. Third game was over in game two. In frame two. No, game two. And that's how <laughs> that's how bad that was. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. Yes. The, the match was over the game before the match. Uh, the uh, the game before the game started. Juice coming up. Got it. Sure does. Yeah. For the fourth frame, who blinks first? Again, for, for all of you that have just joined in, it is all champion. All Juice, all Charles Withers. He's up 3-0. He's got the front three. He's looking for a sweep, which he may get, but we shall see. First shot here from Withers. That you looks good, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's lined. He is absolutely lined right now. Yeah. De Devin's chance here is going to be equal in the 300. And somehow hoping somebody tackles Juice in, in the roll-off. Because Devin can't afford to miss. Juice is locked in like he's nope. probably never been locked in before. Okay, next two frames that Juice has got to, next two frames that uh, Devin's got to shoot have got to be strikes. Right, There's one. strike with Devin. Again, this is shades of game one where they both went strike for strike until Devin made a mistake. Yep. Game two, same thing. Devin made a mistake. Devin cannot make any more mistakes. He cannot make a mistake game three. The first 10 pin that he leaves right now will be the last 10 pin that he leaves that make that is relevant in this match. And if you guys think I'm joking and you you haven't seen this match, that's how locked in Charles Withers is right now. Fifth ball coming up here. Ball looks a little bit light. Oh, my goodness. This, he almost, it, well, oh. someone says out of trouble, and I beg to disagree with that. Yeah, that yeah. I'm not sure about out of trouble. That, that may be adios, I love you, good night right there. And I say that because if you've been watching this, that may be complete trouble. They'll make the spare butt yep. and a big butt here. Yep. Two more strikes from Charles Withers and uh oh. No. Come on, yeah, he's throwing the hammer. And Dennis Hill says he is he looks like he's throwing the envy and he is. If there's anybody that's envious right now, it's Devin Dandridge. With us right now, let's take the lead in Another. game four, and there it is. Charles Withers has been putting on a clinic, and each of those games, Devin Dandridge has blinked first, and each time it has cost him. Robert says, and it's over. People are saying not yet. I'm going to agree with Robert. And that's crazy for me to say that, but that's how locked in he is. Devin needs a mistake, and Devin cannot afford to throw any more non-strikes. Juice gets six, he's gonna get 12. 
A love of sex. Oh. oh. He didn't get six. He got seven, ten. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, wow. there is life in this match. That was not, I, I did not mean to do that. I Pocket promise. blown out seven, ten. So b- both of us are predicting this Ooh. game is over. Not yet. Not yet. Robert lost. Ooh. Not over yet. He's not going to make this fair now. And, and and this goes without saying. Devin must take advantage of this. And when I say he must take advantage of this, he's got to throw some X's. Spare still no good. Got to throw some strikes. Six frame. Devin coming up. He's got to have this one also. He does. Oh, he does. Okay. Okay. There it goes. Hey. Pendulum swinging the other way. Yeah, he almost left the seven ten. Then he almost left the seven. It fell out, reminiscent of how Juice's ten pin fell out when he had the three six ten up. Is that the break that he needs? Yep. If Juice goes out the door at two sixty six, if Devin goes out into the two seventy nine, is that what starts the pendulum swing in the other way? We'll see. It's going to be loud every strike the rest of the way for both of these guys. Well, here we go again. Got to have it. Got to definitely get some room. He does. All of a sudden, Devin up by 13 over Juice, and now it is Juice that's got to start striking or else he's going to lose this game, and Devin will get on the scoreboard. Can you imagine if that 7-10 is the thing that sparks the comeback? Just to get to a game seven would put this in, ma- in match of the year territory, just in my mind, regardless of who wins. Juice right now, looking to keep in this. No, Tempin. Oh, Tempin. Uh oh. Ah. Ah. Kim says, finally, Devin get a oh break. He did. Kim, not only did Devin get a break, he took advantage of it. Andre Wilbon, let's go. Look, it makes us fair, you will. Well, one, one thing that Juice got to look forward to, or can, can hope happens, is we haven't seen a clean game from Devin yet. Well, De- Devin has been, all three games, Devin's been good for that one mistake open. Yeah. Obviously, yesterday, he didn't have any of those. No, no. He saved them for today. So he's, he's got to get back to what he did yesterday, not what he's currently doing the first three games. Withers here, looking to get back on the strike train. And there it is. Right, you're back. Oh, yeah. Nope. Now, nope. Withers, if he goes out the door, is a 256. Yep. So, so, but again, if if I'm Devin, I need the next two. Yeah. I do not want to put myself in a position where Charles can go out and take game four. Because if I do that, the match is going to be over. Devin, right now, eighth frame. That ball looks good, and it is. Big strike for Devin. Three and over him, going into the ninth frame. Dandridge now up 23, going into the ninth. Big shot coming up from the ninth frame. Again, if he, if he hits this, Charles Withers cannot shut him out. Best he can do is force him to show up at the tenth. Shot here, looking for a strike. No, oh, not However, not however, now everybody's going oh. nutty on him. However, if he makes this and strikes out, if he makes the spare, he still has destiny in his own hands. He can go out the door for a 258. The best that Charles Withers can do is 256. First things first, he's got to make the spare, which he will. So, with the spare, and with the nine spare, Devin cannot be shut out. Juice can force him to go off the door, and actually, Juice can force him to go strike, strike nine, but he can't shut him out. Uh, Robert, I disagree with you. That 10 pin lead all pressure. No, it didn't. Juice right now can put a lot of pressure on him. Ninth frame coming up. Yeah. It. Coming into the 10th frame. Right now, it's a virtual tie. Virtual tie. If Withers goes out the door, Devin's got to go strike, strike nine. If Withers does not throw the first strike, we're seeing a game five. 
Are you having fun? This is fun. Yeah, this is fun. This is why, you, this is why I drove a while to get down here for yeah. matches like this. This is fun. Love the yeah. atmosphere. And as you said, the whole Southeast is now behind us. Yeah, I've, I've had the joy of watching Juice Bowl in tournaments in person, uh, leagues, <laughs> for uh, UBA stuff. That's oh. right. All right, it will not yeah. be a sweep. So we will be getting a game put, five. Yeah, so we got to... Assuming get, that we do not see another Greek church from Devon. Yeah, I got to get Jack Ness to put the broom away. That's all right. Yeah. Brandon Hall saying he's throwing a good. Brandon and I have obviously been seeing a different match. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I get supporting your guy, but like, I, I get supporting your guy too. Yeah, you know that's all good. Keep, keep in mind, Brandon's got the same jersey on that Devin does. Yeah, absolutely. Now the game's not over yet because, and I'm yeah. just saying this because we've all seen strange things happen. Yeah. Assuming that, assuming that you says a strike three, he's up 15. Uh, Devin needs an eight. It can be a seven ten. That's fine. That's enough. Yeah. He cannot, cannot, cannot throw a big four. He cannot throw a Greek church. He cannot throw a wash. Right. If he does any of those, that means he's needs more pins than he may need to spare. Yeah. And this. And, and there's a strike. Yeah. It, and, and I hate so, to say it, this place will this place will erupt if he Greek church. If he, throw, if he throws another Greek church. If he throws another Greek church, he's going to reach over the table and strangle both of us. Well, that's okay. May 1st. He will strangle yeah, me first, he'll, and then he'll, he'll get, get you first. You. I'm a lot taller. taller you're a lot taller, and you're a lot quicker. All right. This shot here forces game five, and that's enough, and he's got yeah. it. That's enough. Yeah. Everybody can go, oh, it doesn't matter. That's a safety shot. Eight pins good. Devin's going to yep. win game four, and there'll be a game five. Yep. Jessica going two, four, five. No brooms today. Well, no, Jake. There were brooms earlier, but no brooms this match. He'll make the spare. Hey, well. So, Devin's on the board. Devin's chatting with Brandon a little bit. So, one of the things that, that we said earlier is that Devin's going to last long enough for Charles to sort of lose something and then have to readjust. Is this that time? I, I, is this the beginning of one of the best matches ever in the history of the UBA? Yes, I'm grandstanding a little bit, and I'm appealing to the universe. But is this the beginning of one of the biggest comebacks in UBA history? We will find out in Game 5, but as of right now, at the end of Game 4, Devin Dandridge, 247, Charles Withers, 233. Devin's on the board, but Juice leads 3-1. to one. And here's Game 5. And Charles starts it. Yeah, he's up. He's up and ready to go. Juice is not. Um, he knows what he did wrong. He was very quick to pat his chest when he left that seven count. He knew it was on him. I would be surprised if he doesn't bury this. Well, again, you know, one mistake you're out. He lost the seven ten, and that changed it. And that's game over right there. Here's Juice. Here's Devin. Here we go. Well, he's he, Juice still had a chance after that seven ten, um, which is something that. You know, Devin didn't have when Devin had his big opens, yeah. his big splits, he couldn't come back. Juice was almost able to come back from almost. leaving the seven ten. Almost. I got some from Peter Dobb Balderas. Juice is not even close to being done. Well of course not. We, there's got there's got another three games before Juice is close to being done. Devin right now with a strike. Strike piece. Made the adjustment. And again, just a reminder because everybody went, ooh, ah, 10th frame. Devin didn't need a strike. He just needed to not make a hideously bad shot. Right. So if you throw him plaque and leave a plaque 10 or plaque 8, or even the plaque 8 and 10 together, that's still eight pins. That was still enough to win the game. Yeah, we, we had a we had a Vixens title match uh, back three, four years ago. I was on Savages, and Destiny Harper was bowling and got shot a four count. Uh oh. And that eight was better than the four count. But eight's better than a four count, but it's not a strike anyway. Yeah, so she had to get she had to spare it to move on. Um, and she ended up losing because of the four count thing. So you can always have that crazy shot that cost you the game. But Any, anything can happen and we're getting the the Atlanta Braves chop theme here because we know what the Southeast wants. 
Southeast is not going to get it. He makes a spare. However, and a big however here, is the game end right now? No, I, I don't think we can count that yet. Okay. You know, um... I don't think it ends either because I'm not convinced that Juice has figured everything out yet. Figured out that way now. He buried, he buried that one, though. Juice takes the lead early in a game that Devin must win. If he doesn't win it, Juice retains the title. If he does win it, then we go to game six. And all of a sudden, it gets real interesting. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't hope, I don't, I don't want to see that. I want, I want to see Juice go ahead and get you this over. want to see the in five. Yeah. You biased man, you. Well. I like Juice sevens. You Juice. don't want to see game seven now. No, not today. Um, <laughs> Well, uh, wraps in. Yeah. All, all of a sudden, this swing, all of a sudden, this swings around, and he's at five fence over there. You're right. De Devin goes out. It's two eighty, two seventy nine. Didn't say you were. No, no, no. <laughs> all right. Assuming he makes the spare, he's got it. Robert Laws said, Juice just said, what is one figure, what is I figured out? Well, no, he didn't figure it out. He may have figured out 52. He didn't, definitely did not figure out 51. He just left a 10 pin. Let Juice's little juices breathe. He's good. All right, that's from Andre. Andre's trying to will a couple of strikes here. This one will help. There it is. Yeah, okay. All right. Now can Devin figure out lane 51? If he does, he takes the lead. If he doesn't, he opens the door again. Yeah, we'll see. Fourth frame, can he figure out 51? Is his hand? Big double, Devin takes the lead. Here we go. All of a sudden, Dirty South Legends that were laughing a while ago, sort of um, getting a little bit of quietness over here. Yeah, let, let's not, let's not that. take Amanda Franco off. Let's not. No, don't do that. No, yeah, no, don't do that. Not about panicking, it's about being quiet. No. Right now, he should be buried over here, he is. There we go. Now, here's a question. What did he do on 51? Devin's already made the adjustment. Juice needs to. Now, if Juice doesn't, again, 20-20-20, and Devin's going to start building a bigger lead than what he did in games one and two. Yeah, Juice just, he threw a good ball last time. He just left the 10 up. I don't think Juice isn't even really doing anything different. Well, we shall see. Juice hasn't been lost either. I didn't either say lane. it was lost. I said, did he adjust correctly? That's the question. I don't even think an adjustment needed to make. He just, it wasn't, just he did to throw it a little bit better. That was it. Well, let's see. Is he going to throw it a little bit better this time? He didn't like that shot, and uh, he didn't like that bit. for a reason. Four pin. That, that's the seven. And all of a sudden, again, now you're going 20, 20, 20. This is exactly if you want a string. You cannot afford to do that. And all of a sudden, there's a little bit of breathing room for, for Devin right now in this game. Again, I'm going to assume he's going to make the seven pin. And he will. But going Dutch does not beat a string. Devin has the opportunity to start creating some breathing room between him and Juice's game. Yep. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, I love this. I love that it's going. It wasn't this week. Um, Devin's fighting. Sounds and like you're getting a little bit nervous right now, uh, Ray. No, I, look, I, I'll still say I'm going for Juice. I want Juice to win Never this Right thing. now, that ball looks good. Hi oh, 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 my goodness. goodness. He gets a nine pin. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Nine pin goes down. Devin's got three in a row, and here comes the DMV. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That was crazy. That was crazy. Kenny Logos it out. I remember my first three baggers. 
Devin right now with a 21 pin lead can increase it to 31 with another strike. And more importantly, he'll be on a string of four and Charles Withers will only be on a spare. There we go. Devin with the shot, looking for four in a row. That ball looks good. It is. Devin goes down. Dang. Come on now. Devin with four in a row. And all of a sudden, it's a 31-pin lead. Right, Needless to say, Juice has got to start throwing strikes here. Or, and I'll say it the opposite way, this game will be over. With us right now, that ball looks good. It is. Again, lane 52, no problem. He's got to figure out lane 51. Yeah. And if he wants this game, he's got to figure it out in a hurry. So Juice, Juice left the 10 and he left the 7. Uh, this is that good. Ah, uh, keep it going. Well, I know Devin wants to keep it going. Juice wants to keep it going on 51 because right now he's gotten a pair of nine spares. Seventh frame here. Withers needs a strike. He doesn't like the shot. There it is. Big strike for Juice. Good job, Juice. Damage has been cut down. Could potentially have been 31 pins. He cuts it back down to 21. Devin still with a little bit of an advantage as we go into the seventh frame, but in order to keep it, he's got to keep throwing strikes. Yeah. And he cannot, cannot, cannot afford to, for him to do what he did in games one or two. Yeah. Which is make a hideous mess. If he doesn't strike, it's got to be a nine. Devin right now looking for five. Ball looks good. It is. That guy had Baby Shark on the back of his jersey. I can't take anything he says seriously. My goodness. No, no you can't say, take anything from that Baby Shark now. No. Eighth frame. Big shot here. If he throws a strike, obviously, Charles cannot take the lead on him. Charles cannot shut him out. And then if he throws a strike here, then Devin's two, stri two strikes away from game six. I see the CEO Phil Chance coming around. He's enjoying this, I can tell. All right, here's a shot. Devin will be enjoying it if he can get the six. He does. And that ball was buried. That was smoked like a salmon. Six in a row for Devin. And if Charles does not throw a strike in the eighth frame, we're looking at a game six when Juice was absolutely in control of this match. And he was up three zip, and all of a sudden, one mistake here, and a couple of single pin spares, and we're looking at a game six, potentially. Just right now, it's gotta be a strike. And it is not, and we're gonna see a game six, even yeah. with that non-10 pin. Yeah, we're, sadly, we're gonna go to six. Um, but it's like I was trying to tell you in game four, like, don't count it, like, we can't count this stuff out, man. Can't, These can guys never. are great. Match is not level. done. Um, Let's go. Here comes 10 back. Let's go. Here well, comes 4-pin. And the sad part is there's, there's still more South Bowlers in this building, but they're not as loud as the DMV and the North crowd is. And it's just DMV kind of, and North brought it this, yeah. this weekend. Yeah, they brought it, and they're, they're showing all very, kinds of support. Very, very loud. Yep. Absolutely. So now it is a 32-pin lead for Devin Dainbridge. He's on a double off of a spare. Knife frame coming up. The best that Charles Withers can do is a 238. Already got to 190 in the book for Devin. As long as he stays out of trouble, he doesn't even need a strike here. He just needs to stay out of trouble. Though a strike will help. Ooh, well, that, was that ugly. strike will also help for Charles Withers. Yeah, that, that was ugly. But so, barring a disaster. Well, not barring a disaster. That strike means that somewhere along the line, Devin needs a double in order to take this out if my math yeah. is correct. Obviously, a strike in the ninth frame will do that. Yes. Let's go! Yeah, De uh, Devin's got a double throw another strike. Devin doesn't throw a strike in the ninth frame. Assuming Benny Marks has got to throw a double in the tenth. Shut up here. If he strikes, we got a game six. He does. 
Now we're at 220, a seven count, and we got a game six. Yes, we do. Once again, I will say it as I said it before, if this goes to a game seven, this will be one of the best matches in UBA history. Absolutely. If this somehow gets to forget who wins, if it gets to a game seven, this will be one of the best matches in UBA history. Well, you had Deuce dominated the first three games. Yeah. No no doubt about it. It looks like Devin's returning the favor. And the, and the thing with Devin. Game it, six. Game six. Yeah. And, the, and, the thing with, and the thing with Devin is he didn't quit. He was down over 100 pins after three games, and he could have quit. So many guys would have folded. They yeah. would have just gave up. We, we did we not. He just kept fighting. We saw this weekend yeah. that people folded. We actually had somebody say, do I have to bowl a game four? Yeah. So, yeah, we've seen that happen yeah. where people just didn't fold. Devin didn't fold. He just said, okay, fine, let's go. Yep. Segura, it's okay now. I mean, you probably can still get over here and be here in time for a game seven if there is one. Yeah. But, but you're missing a nice match here. Doesn't really matter what he shoots right now, even though it's not gonna really matter, there's another strike. Nine in a row for Devin. One more, ten in a row, 280. Woo! Ray, Ray I'm sure is having fun. He's having a little bit less fun than he was around ten minutes ago. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's no secret. I always pull for the conference, for the district, all that kind of stuff. Uh, me and Juice uh, used to both be in the deep south together. Um, we've had a lot of growth down that way, so now we're in the we're in Palmetto. He's still in the deep south. And, oh, and it goes down anyway. So even the strike that didn't matter it still was ugly. Um, but looks beautiful you know, up there. Yeah, look, yeah, it looks the same on the board. But you know, I, I'm still confident in Juice. They all always be confident in Juice. And you know, um, I'm sort of wondering in the back of my mind. You know, Brad Perth talks a lot of gunk. Maybe he did something he should not have done, which is maybe he woke up Devin Dandridge. Maybe you should have left him alone, because if what he said woke him up, look out. Meanwhile, Charles Withers now is definitely has got to figure out, regroup, and figure out what the heck he's got to do. Because, yipes. By the way, let me ask you this question. In North versus South, has anyone come back from being down 3-0 in a world title match? Because I do not remember that happening in a world match. I don't believe so. Title matches, yes. Title matches, that's happened frequently, but not the world match. Yeah, sorry, Andre. Um, yeah, I, I can't stay uh, completely neutral. When Yeah, but I can. Yeah. That's why Gordon's here. That's why I'm here. Gordon, but at least I was uh, not counting Devin out as fast as Gordon was. I wasn't counting anybody out. I was just, again, exclaiming the facts. At this point, in a World Championship Series match, no one's come down from 0-3 to win in the World Title match, which is why I was asking that. So therefore, at that point, you would think that it would be over, or at least close to it. And again, it depends how you, you grow. Um, I'm not going to use those words that Garden Foundation used, but uh, how much do you grow your chest in this case? Which, and if you're uh, Garden Foundation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What's the count? It was 3-0 world champion. It is now 3-2. Yep. So hey, Dennis, Game six is going to be manic. Okay. Dennis, was that uh, was that to uh, uh, Pittman? Okay, so maybe now it will be the second time that that's happened in a world match. That could have been to Pittman. Yeah. Devin is tough. Yes, he is. Yeah. I, Wins I, of Andre Wilbon. Stay tuned. Well, he's going to finish it out. However, at the end of game five, Devin Dandridge, 280. Charles Withers, 238. We got a game six. Oh, my. What you say? said hold up. Right, right now we're in the middle of changing battery at this point. That's why the visual is off. Uh, but I'll say this, Devin, the strike. 
He went back to the extreme envy. He should stick with that. Well, he probably should. Who don't like juice next game? Hey, Bizzle, I still the like week. juice. I, I, I still like juice till it's uh, over. Here we go. We got video back. So we're good there. Here's Juice. First frame coming up with the strike. There it is. There we go. I will say this. If it gets to a game seven, as I said, this will be one of the best UBA matches ever. Ever. And clearly the best one that, that's going to be uh, streaming. Yeah. And I think that we could also say that, like, this is Devin has been showing this fight. Yeah. And, you know, he made the right adjustments yesterday in the heavyweight match to get here. And... You know, he stayed fighting this whole time. So regardless of what happens, and, you know, hopefully Juice pulls this out. Oh, Juice in. almost left the 4-9 up there. There's a 9, but, and all of a sudden, Devin can take control of this game early. Yeah, Devin's looking, Devin's just looking good, man. It's just, and it's like, Juice ain't even throwing the ball, man. He you wasn't know? throwing the ball bad. He just made mistakes in game one and game two, and game three was a what the heck was that? No, I said... Game four of game and game five, he wasn't making mistakes. Weathers makes his fair, however, and a big however here. If Devin hits the strike here, you will hear an eruption from the DMV, maybe the loudest of the evening right now, if he shoots the strike right here. Standard up. Here's a shot. That ball's got to hurry, but it looks good, though. No, 10 pin. Oh, Rap said. Rap said. Got some stand up and fight. I'll say this I think that's much less of, an, of a yay and much more of a sigh of relief over there by the Southeast. Yeah. And I'll also say this, if, if he does lose this game, at least Devin made this a lot more competitive than it looked like games one, two, three. That being said, assuming he makes a spare, we're tied. He'll make it. We're tied. And Brad Kurth came over and started yapping again once Devin left the 10 pin. I thought Brad Kurth would have learned to leave well enough alone. I do not know what is going on in that man's mind. Maybe he's got some money on this game, which wouldn't shock me, by the way. No, it wouldn't shock me. He probably got a couple grand on it somewhere. Robert, I can't, can't imagine all the side action in the back. I can. I, I can imagine all the side action in the back. All right, third frame coming up. Both bullets on spares. Devin looking to strike. Oh, my goodness. That was way outside. Two eight, and there's Brad Kurth again. I don't, I don't exactly know why he's parading at this moment. I'm okay. I'm okay with Brad. He's looking for a chop. That is a choppable spare, by the way, especially the way that Devin throws at it. But he's not. He's going to make it. All right. Transition time, it looks like, this game. Jake, what am I supposed to be scared of? And Marquis goes, betting. With us right now, we we'll come back. The strike. Well, now here's a question. What does he do on lane 51? Because that's where he's been leaving his one pin and two pins. Yeah. That's the question. And obviously, if he throws a double here, then clearly Devin's got to get back on the game, and he's got to get back on it in a hurry because he can let this one get very away from him very quickly. So now the question becomes, who figured out the transition better? Who figures out lane 51 first? I'm not counting, I'm not counting anybody out yet. No reason it's, to. It's too early to... Uh, right, right now, it's a two-pin game. Yeah, even if Juice strikes here, like... Devin's throing the ball too well. It, it, it's just one just mistake right now, away. Just to double up. He does. Okay, okay. Yeah. Big shot from Juice. Juice takes the lead. Now, how does Devin respond? That's the question. If he can respond quickly, we've got a game. If I see spare, spare, this man could be in trouble getting away from him. 
Yeah, I don't know who uh, Jake Braun is, but yeah, the better bowlers are in the South. They've always been in the South. Not sure what he's Marquez, referring to. Marquez, Juice, stop playing with your food. Eat. They're saying tell Dev to go pay lines. We'll see. Fourth frame coming up. Devin, right now, that ball's got to hurry up. Oh, 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 he got lucky there. That was, almost, almost, that was almost a disaster. Ooh. Seven pin up there. So right, right now, the question is, who can adjust quicker? Right now, the answer is Charles Withers. As if I said, in fourth and fifth frame, if all we're going to get is spares and strikes, that's not good enough. Look for a spare. Ooh. Ooh. He'll get it. Ooh. Fifth frame is going to be a very, very big frame for Devin right now. <laughs> oh, what, I'll say, I'll say this. A couple, couple more strikes from Charles, and Devin can feel much more confident about... Uh, well, Devin can feel a lot less confident. Brad Kurth can feel a lot more confident about putting out the go-to-sleep sign. Fifth frame coming up for Devin. Shot coming up. That ball looks okay. There's the strike. Much better in his last three shots. Much better. Now, however, the question becomes... Will Juice start to run away if he starts to run away? Right now, Juice theoretically is up 13. Another strike makes it 23. 23, Devin can come back from. If he starts stringing and Devin can no longer throw strikes on 52, he won't be able to come back from that. Withers right now. Here we go. Lane 52 at the halfway mark. Oh, yeah. oh that was high and he got away with it. That, that was high. That was high. He's going to have to adjust off of that one. He got, he got the strike, but that was a little bit higher than he wanted it to be. I guarantee you that. Yep. 23-pin game right now. Going to sixth frame. And again, now, if you're Devin, you absolutely, even if he strikes you, the game's not over, but you absolutely have got to keep pace with him. You cannot let the deficit be more than 23 pins. You go in second half of game six. World champions up three to two. World champions looking to get four in a row. World champions got it. Got it. Got it. Withers, four in a row. You said, I see your 280. I'm going to raise you that 280. Yep. And if he goes 280, then the world champion will retain. It looks like right now, it looks like Withers is in control and he's got this locked in. Devin right now, six frames. He already knows what he needs to do. He's got to start throwing strikes. Spares are no good. Six frame here. Here's a shot. Ball's checking up. Gets it. Yeah, Devin's got to stay within 23. He's got to force Charles Withers to keep throwing strikes. And, and I don't know what we're doing. We, we've got sliding. We've got Saturday Night Fever going on right behind both competitors. But hey, this is the UBA. This is what we're here for. Hey, Saturday yeah. Night Fever is welcome from everybody. Yep. Devin here, seven frame. Devin's been fighting, man. Uh, you know, well, I, I'm gonna take my hat off to Devin already. Like regardless, well, is, man. He, regardless of what happens, but again, this yeah. has got to be a strike right now. Yeah, he didn't quit, man. And he's still, he still he don't quit this game either. Ooh. Almost got that. Almost seven nine. However, seven, nine. however, a big however, yeah. the fact that that's a nine pin up there and not a strike, Charles Withers can't, has got two frames to put this one out and it in six. He got some breathing would, room. Which would not be the best World Championship Series match that I've ever seen, but it still would be a pretty good World Championship Series match. Devin right now, let the first fair, he'll get it. However, and a big however, if Charles Withers can expand from four strikes in a row to six, yep. this one shall be in the books. Next ball up here, seventh frame. Oh! There it is. Let's go. He's been playing around with that middle whole entire game six, and that middle has still been holding. Withers gets away with one. If he gets away with one more, and that's pretty much all, all she wrote. 
best Devin can do is a 236. The best Devin can do is a 236. And Juice right now could potentially be in the 220s with a shot if this is a strike. Yeah, and it is. Baby. Look at that. Messengers have not been working for Devin. They have been working for Charles we've Withers. Got, look, we got cash on the ground. We've got keys, wallets, all kind of stuff. Look at this. This is fantastic. Wow. Right now, 190 go. from Withers. Hey, and the DMV has gone silent. Crickets. Silent night in the DMV. Yeah, the DMV, the North, all of them have gone completely south. They talked junk for about eight minutes, and that was about it. Well, we'll see what happens here. Well, it's not over. I mean, I, I ain't heard no fat lady, so I know it's not over. You haven't started singing yet. Oh, uh, well. Ooh. All right. However, I'll say this. It's still, it's still Every, alive. It, it's, well, the next... The next set of balls that Devin has, it's got to be strikes. And Devin needs a lot of help from Withers. 7, 8, 9, 20, 30. If, okay. So if Devin goes out, it's a 236. Uh, two marks, two plain old marks from Charles Withers puts him in the 250s, if my math is correct. So he's going to need an open, not just a non-strike. Devin's going to need an open from Charles Withers. And it's got to be a nasty one. Ball game. This game's over. That's it. Ball game. That is ball game. Yeah, that nine pin. Been a valiant effort from Devin. Devin's grasp on lane 51 yeah. has left him at the worst possible moment. Yeah. He's right now, in this case, just needs to not open. Yeah, keep going. And that's good. Let's throw another game at it. Let's keep going. Going down. Tenth frame coming up. And again, it's all over but the shouting. Mathematically, it's now over. So this is basically now... Everybody can breathe a huge sigh of relief after game five. And if it got to game seven, the post would have been on fire. However, it is not getting a game seven. Charles Juice Withers will retain and a win four games to two. I'll say this. If they come back in Delaware and we get a rematch, this is going to be fun. Well, championship series Dominated definitely has got a lot of juice, especially in the southeast. I, I will say this, you're, you're right. I'm not sure about how the match, but you definitely made it a match. If it got to game seven, this would have been, this would have been crazy. Keith Perry, Perry saying that'll get the North back in there. He'll rep in August. Got to get there, but Keith Perry is definitely good enough to do it. But right now, it is Charles Withers. But once again, as Ray's going to say, Ray's going to return. He's going to return the favor. Devin shot a 280 on him. It looks like that he's going to shoot a 280 right back. Got to look at it this way. Game one and game two were determined by two mistakes that Devin made. That put him in a 3 nothing hole. He tried to get himself out of it, but too much of a hole. And he could not afford to have a bad game, and he had one. Withers took advantage. He holds on to the world title. Withers is going to finish out with a 279. And while Devin is finishing out, I got Ray going to do an interview with and still yeah. the current world champion. Everybody, what it looks like again, staying in the south. Good throw at it. Yeah, a little few words there for Devin. Devin did a great job there. Um, I want to talk to Devin real quick. Devin, um, it's gonna be hard to get these guys out of the way real quick, but um, you you were down 3-0. And you stayed fighting, dude. And 
um, you had people on, on YouTube, like, they were going crazy, going for you. Everybody was, like, cheering for you there. You had a lot of support here. Um, take me through your emotions, man, from, like, games three through through six here. I knew coming in, no game is going to be easy to win against Juice. Yep. Games, early games, I had a couple issues going on. Found a little bit of a look. Like, let's ride it as long as we can. Yep. Stay on top of it, make good shots. They carry, good. But at least make them strike to beat me. Yep. Don't go up, just don't roll over. No, you didn't roll over, man. You did a hell of a job. Everybody was cheering for you. You made everybody proud, man. Again, congratulations, man. I hope to see you at Battle Bowl again, too, man. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right, cool deal. Good deal. All right, where'd Juice go? Juice! So, Juice, you did not you did not make that look easy, man. Like, you were up 3-0. You, you left a little door open there. And he about kicked it open all the way on you. Um, t take me through that action. Um, I'm like, a, like I said at the beginning of the match. I wasn't gonna lie. I knew it was gonna be a lot of strikes. I mean, he got a couple of bad breaks the first three games. So, I mean, I took advantage of it. As, as somebody said, I think somebody said I shot like 820 for the first three. Yeah. So, but my ball, like uh, Terrence and was saying, my ball was starting to get a little lazy down lane. So that's why they want me to go to the uh, ethos pro symmetric, trying to get to the corner. Yeah. But then I was like. It looks good, but it didn't give me that look like my stream did. So in that last game, what I did was I just went up to the stream, and like Donovan told me, Donovan and Terrence, they said, just get firm with it. Just let it roll. You just, you're just not trusting. Let it roll. So that's why I did the last game to finish off the match. Yeah, you had a lot of good support. You had uh, you had a lot of your uh, Brands of Brunswick uh, people in the house. Um, you had, uh, like you said, you had Donovan here, uh, Terrence here. You had Jack over there talking to you a little bit too. Yeah. So you had the support you needed, man. Um Man, you can't do that to us, man. Like we, we, it was looking like you were going to do it in four, and uh, you were just kind of people were saying online you were playing with your food, man. Not to eat, not to do that, um, but you had uh, had Amanda here. I know that's always good when she can make it. Uh, you know, you represent Dirty South, you represent your district, you represent the conference again. Um, what's what's next for you, man? Uh, I mean, I'm just like I said, I'm gonna take it one day at a time. You know, continue to do what I do, Bo. Whenever my next title defense come up, I'll be there to do it. Like I was saying, I was um, bowling at the other house yesterday, and like I said, this is definitely no disrespect to the North. I love, I have plenty of bowls in the North I bowl with, yeah. but when I heard that the North, I had to bowl the North champ, I was like, oh, that's a lot of pressure on me. I can't let the belt go back North. It ain't been there in a while, so I knew he was going to come at me to try to take it back to the North. But like I said, Deb, me and Devin real cool. He's good people. I like bowling with him. Um, when he went to that, I think it's the coil, the, the venom recoil. I was like, yeah, that ball's locked in for him. So I was like, I got to get back to going to it and get back to striking or I was going to lose this match in seven. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. I'll be in touch with you. We'll get figured out when you're going to defend again yeah. um, before Battle Bowl. You'll have to defend one more time in the South. Yeah. And uh, congratulations, man. Go celebrate with everybody, Thanks, man. Sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. We are out. Appreciate y'all very much. Let me